Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Some of you guys had a few questions about the new artifact. Let's take a look. Uh, there was supposed to be two new artifacts originally. Uh, there was also a tank artifact that was supposed to be released. But uh, we already knew some time ago that the tank artifact was nowhere ready to be released. So it was a bit surprising in the producer letter when they did mention two new artifacts. Although if you look at the producer letter again, you will notice that they only mentioned one artifact now. So we only got the one artifact, the DPS artifact, because the tank artifact still needed some work. So it is an artifact for people who uses powers, but also who uses a weapon attack. And not just weapon attack, but cross weapon combos. If you're wondering what the cross combos are, if you go to the very bottom of your weapon abilities, you will see there's what is known as the cross weapon combos. So in this case, you have to take all the weapon combos for the hand blasters. Then you have to take the end blaster mastery. And then you have to go to the bow and you have to take all the weapon combos for the bow. You take the bow weapon mastery and then you will have access to the bow cross weapon combos. To get the brawling cross weapon combos, we would have to do the same. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Uh, just having the bow will be fine uh, for today. So your cross weapon combos are combos that you can execute with your weapon. So basically it allows you to switch from hand blasters to the bow without having to switch your weapon. It's the best uh, the best way I can explain that. Oh, and here you can see we've, have, we've activated the artifact. So there are three different aspects with the artifact that we can activate. So if we do use four weapon combos, we'll activate the lion aspect as you just saw. And if we cast six superpowers, we'll gain the shark aspect. We'll see that in just a second. And if we spend a 5,000 supercharge ability, we will gain the Gorilla Aspect. So for the Lion Aspect, once we activate the Lion Aspects, the next six superpowers will inflict 20% extra damage. For the Shark Aspect, the next four cross weapon combos now inflict 12% extra damage. And for the Gorilla Aspect, the next three superpowers inflict 25% of their total damage. And the next two cross weapon combos inflict 20% damage. So let's try it out. So if we go 1 superpower, 2 superpower, 3 superpower, 4 superpower, 5 superpowers, and 6 superpowers, so you can see we did activate the shark aspect. And now let's do the same with the weapon combos, but for the weapon combos, we only need 4 cross combos, which as you can see takes quite a while to execute all those combos. So we did activate the, the, the lion, so now we could cycle through the powers once more. So in an ideal world, you would do, let's say, uh, six power attacks and four weapon attacks. Six power attacks, four weapon attacks. And sadly, sometimes things go wrong. You get interrupted while you do your attacks. But to get the bonus, you don't necessarily have to do six, four, six, four. Uh, let's give it a try. So let's do one weapon combo. Then one power. One weapon combo. Oh, I made a boo boo. So even if you mess up your weapon combo, so you saw we activated the shark anyway. And here we should be able to activate the lion. There we go. So you don't have to do six uh, six uh, power attack, four weapon attack, six power attack, four weapon attack. You could uh, mix and match them a little bit if you want to. Of course, to get the full benefit. Uh, you probably will want to do six of one, six four, six four. I probably should have opened this uh, all the way. So let's open this if you want to keep track of uh, the damage done with the, the powers and the weapon with the artifacts. So you do see a line of damage that is done by the artifact.
So you do a bit of extra damage thanks to the artifact. And again, if somehow you get interrupted, it shouldn't really matter. You should still be able to do your damage and then benefit from uh, the artifact. So even if you get interrupted, even if you stop doing your combos, it doesn't really matter. It's only once you do your fourth combo that you will get the, the bonus. Again, the same for the powers. Even if you get interrupted, it doesn't really matter because as soon as you execute your sixth power, then you do get your bonus. And for the Gorilla Aspect, you have to use at least a 5,000 Supercharge and it will give the next 3 Superpowers 25% of your damage and the next 2 Weapon Combos 20%. So let's give it a try. So let's activate the Gorilla. So 1, 2, 3, then 1, and 2. So we should be done with the artifact after two. I suppose so. And then we get back to the, the cycle. Six, four, six, four, six, four. I did not use the artifact all that much just yet, so I'm still figuring out how to use it. So Azard is probably a more effective way to use it than what I just showed you. But it should give you an idea of how the artifact actually works. So technically this should be made for people who choose uh, the focus hybrid, where you attack with both weapons and powers. Although I wouldn't be surprised if some people actually go uh, weapon expert still for the 10% extra weapon damage. Even if they use the artifact, and even if they alternate with weapons and power. And one more thing I should probably address. As some of you guys are probably wondering, Multiverse, how were you able to get the artifact to rank 200 already? I had been saving up my Ant Metal for some time. Although even then I was able to upgrade the artifact to rank 160 with uh, my Ant Metal. But then I remembered, I have a lot of characters, so I went through uh, the inventory of my characters and got all the Ant Metal I could from them which brought me close to 180. And then I went to see my friend Dr. Fate in the House of Legends. I had accumulated a bunch of Destiny tokens, so I used a bunch to purchase some uh, flawless and metal from Dr. Fate. And of course, I bought a few seals of completions. I keep on seeing uh, some crazy people who claim that you have to spend uh, $200, $300 whenever we get a new artifact. You don't have to. If you plan ahead and save up your Ant Metal, and your destiny tokens, you should be able to upgrade your artifacts without spending any extra money. And where or where you can get the artifact? If your character is combat rating 419, you will get the artifact for free as soon as you log in, you will get it as a free gift. If you are not 419 and you still want to get the artifact right now, you can buy it from our friend Constantine, but it will cost you 10 source marks. So there you go guys, so we have a new artifact that's been added to the game. Uh, for the tank artifact, we do not know just yet when or when it will be added to the game. As soon as we know when it will be added to the game, I will let you guys know about it.